Hello everyone, Cyberverse Prime here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series ROTB Nightbird. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you, I do have two swords. Um, the reasoning why I do is, yes, obviously I bought a second one, but um, the second one went to my brother. Um, my brother wanted one because of the alt mode that she is. He's a big fan of the Nissan Skyline. He really hoped that um, he was really hoping that this figure was going to be officially licensed by Nissan, and thank God that it was, <laughs> because um, it got me to get two of these, and the same thing with Mirage. So my Mirage and Nightbird figures have two additional accessories, only because he only cares about the. Um, the alt modes that they turn into so yep um but anyway let's get out of her uh pose here um the figure is okay um just straight off the bat it's okay um it's not what i thought it was going to be but the figure is still based on concept art and stuff and like that so eh, it's okay it's not the worst thing i've seen the original, um, the one that comes, th the mainline version, not the, the SS, but the mainline one, eh, that one's worse. <laughs> that one is significantly worse than this one, but um, I do like the paint apps on this one a lot more than the um, uh, the mainline one. So your Nightbird will look like this unless you buy two. You can have one in the alt mode and one in robot mode, which is, you know, kind of cool. So, um, instead of talking about, oh yeah, this is a major issue that I don't like. It doesn't tab in very well. Her, um, her chest doesn't really like to tab in. And the other part is that this part, uh, the backpack does not like to stay tabbed in. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, but when it's sitting on a shelf, it doesn't bother me. I don't really play with this figure too much. But I'll go ahead and remove her accessories. Um, even though I have two, you're most likely going to have one put off to the side. Um, but anyway, so yeah, two. Um, I guess in terms of a quick size comparison, really quick. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. And... Uh, we will come back and talk about her here in a few seconds. Um, so, yeah. All right, and here she is next to a couple of figures from Rise of the Beast. We have, obviously, her um, killer, Bumblebee, and we have RC. And then for a Voyager class size comparison, here she is next to uh, ROTV Optimus Prime. So, yep. Um, now, in terms of her stability, it's okay. It's not the best. But, um, she can stand on her own. It just takes some finagling. I really dislike this backpack. Um, not because of all this junk back here, but it just doesn't tab in. It's a very, um, like if you knock it the wrong way, um, yeah, it, it just comes untabbed. It's super annoying and I really hate that but that's just on my copy uh, your copy may vary so d don't take that as the figure sucks I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you the transformation is fun but before we get into the transformation I have to show off the articulation so her head I believe is on a ball joint yeah it's got to be on a ball joint because it goes up and down in a swivel so that's cool she does have a upper no it's on her waist so she does have a waist rotation but it is hindered due to all the crap that's hanging off her back and her on and on her sides but that's due to the um the alt mode and the concept art design um she has ball joints here at the um the shoulder she has a single jointed um elbow she does have bicep swivel no wrist rotation that is super annoying um, just like that toy, guy, see what I mean? It not lo it, it's knocked loose. Um, but just like that toy guy said, and I think in his review, 
she needs to have wrist swivel. So hopefully, well, actually, I think these, um, I don't even think, no, I think it's pinned. It could be friction peg, but I can't really tell. I think it's pinned, her arm. Yeah, her arm's pinned. All right, so, uh, and, well, you could clip off the biceps because um, they're on mushroom pegs to give her wrist swivel. But, eh, I don't know. See what I mean about this backpack? It's super annoying. But um, back to articulation, universal hip joints, which is really good. She's got a freaking, like, double knee joint, which is super cool to get her into, like, those cool jumping and flying poses that she did in the film. Really cool. And then she does have the sort of ankle tilt, but it is kind of broken up because it's not really at the ankle. It's kind of at the the shin, kind of. But yeah, yeah, you can kind of see that stupid backpack keeps coming on tab. It's it's clear plastic on regular plastic tabs, and that's not going to mix well. But since we're done talking about her in robot mode, let's go ahead and get to vehicle mode. So what you want to do is go ahead and fold in the feet right here. And then to kind of get it done already, go ahead and fold this down. That's going to be the front of the grill. And then you're going to want to untab it from her back and rotate it up like this. Go ahead and fold up her chest. Go ahead and fold these bits. Her chest, yeah, these they're on a, like a hinge. So they're going to move down a little bit. There you go. Yeah, there they go. Oh, no, are they on? Oh, yeah, they're on joints right here. So you can kind of see the config configuration. Head's got to be straightened. Um, okay, what's the next step? You want to go ahead and rotate her foot. And then you want to fold this in. And then, oh, now I see why she's got double joints. Um, well, no, I've been knowing. But her feet are going to... God, this is really difficult for whatever the reason. Yeah, that's correct. So her feet... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm really having trouble with all of this crap. Like, the figure's transformation is fairly easy. It's just, um, me, I'm having brain fart issues. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've transformed her. But I do know that you rotate the feet like this. Maybe it'll help if I, oh man, I think you, no, that's not right either. What the heck? Um, I usually don't have this trouble. I really don't. I apologize. Oh, wait a minute. Um. Am I supposed to rotate her waist? No, I'm not. Well, maybe I am. Hang on a second. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that was the problem. I was supposed to rotate. No, I wasn't. Oh my god. Give me a second. I apologize for that. It's like I said, I had a brain fart. So, um, yeah, the knees are going to have to go into this kind of configuration. So you want to rotate this piece down, rotate this part up, and then fold the hinge down like that, and then kind of open up this panel so you can see what I'm doing, and then boom, there you go. So that right there is the transformation for the legs. Now, um, I guess you can go ahead and tab that in that way this doesn't keep spinning around and stuff so the next part is to obviously fold down the shoulder panel fold this arm in and I believe like this 
Yeah. Yeah, like that. And then same thing over here. Go ahead and fold that in just like that. Go ahead and close up. Oh, man. Go ahead and close up the door there. Sort of a door, I guess. Yeah, that, that is the right configuration, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't want to. <clears throat> Why do you resist me? I usually don't have this much trouble with this figure. I really don't. It's because the camera's on, I'm sure. Yeah, it's probably what it is. But um, anyway. Okay. I forget about this double hinge every damn time I know it sounds like I'm getting frustrated with the transformation and I apologize for that but it's like I said the transfer well maybe I didn't say it but the transformation is a pain in the ass sometimes but to be honest it, it's to be expected with these movie figures so sorry if I'm kind of hating on it a little bit I, I really don't hate the figure it's just a, a pain to transform a lot of the time and then this folds down tab that in and then this part the wings go inside oh man really yeah they go inside just like that at least i think they do usually they do oh for the love of heat Okay, maybe they don't go in like that. God, what the heck? Man, this figure really gets me sometimes. Okay, there we go. Okay, maybe not. Lord Jesus, make up your mind. Where do you want to be tabbed in at? Okay, there we go. Now, <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I was having brain fart after brain fart. The transformation is fairly simple. I'm just terrible at practicing before uh, I'm supposed to do these things. So this is all my bad. But anyway, there is Nightbird in her Nissan Skyline uh, alt mode. And it's a very nice uh, car. I love the metallic, like, purpley pink here. Or magenta, I think that is. Um, I love the copperish, pinkish color here. Really gives me like prime RC vibes, but I know it's Nightbird, not RC. Um, yeah, there's different shades of like gray. Uh, I don't like that, but it's okay. It's not bad. And then the swords, I believe, can be stored underneath the alt mode. Yeah, I think they can be stored underneath here. Yeah, they can. So that's kind of cool. You can do this. Configuration, and you know what? It kind of gives it some kind of kind of an exhaust, which is really cool. So anyway, yeah, there you guys go. There was Transformers: uh, Rise of the Beast, uh, Nightbird, in her car mode. But uh, these these do kind of hinder the rolling a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Now for a Vmo size comparison, here she is with Mirage, and here she is with. Um, um, her teammate battle trap. So yeah, it looks kind of cool. Really cool. Um, I do think this is inaccurate. I don't think a Porsche is bigger than a skyline, but I could be wrong. You car bus will know a little bit more than I do. So, uh, hopefully my brother sees this and helps me out in the comments, but yep. There you guys go. There's transformers rise of the beast. Um, Terracon, uh, Nightbird. Thank you all for watching and see you later.